There are different ways to transfer files from your uh, Linux server inside VirtualBox to your host computer, in this case my Windows laptop. Uh, I'm going to quickly show using FileZilla as a client to transfer files. This assumes you have OpenSSH server running on the Linux machine, which we've installed before for PuTTY's use. And we have FileZilla, the fr a free client. You can also do very similar using WinSCP. So this is FileZilla, and it's essentially a file transfer application. It's going to transfer files from my C drive, my Windows laptop, to the remote site. And I need to specify some address. Uh, or I can go through the site manager and set up a, a, a site and save the details for later. Let's do the quick approach at this stage. We need to know the IP address of our Linux server. 138 77 176 57 138 uh, we can copy and paste uh, 138 is the uh, and so on for the IP address username is that as a server password and port we use port 22 which is the default anyway uh, and this actually uses SFTP as a protocol for transferring files, which is a, a file transfer protocol built on top of Secure Shell. And we already have a Secure Shell server running on our machine. And let's connect. It does a connection. We see some status messages at the top. It's uh, successful. And it's listing the files here on the right hand side in my Linux machine. We note there's some hidden files starting with a dot here, which we don't normally see. Uh, but if I go back to my machine and I create a file using nano, for example, we won't use nano, it's not installed yet. We'll simply echo an example into a file. And if we do a refresh here, we see example.txt is shown up on the remote computer, and I can transfer that to my Windows laptop. And here's example.txt on my Windows laptop. Okay, so you can transfer files back and forth using FileZilla. WinSCP provides a different user interface, but essentially allows you to do the same one, the same thing. Uh, choose one that best uh, suits your needs there.